Okay, so now I'm going to use a tennis ball to massage the lower back, the glutes, hamstring, and the calf muscle. So you'd want to lay down on a surface that has some friction, for example, an exercise mat. Uh, it is not appropriate when on a smooth surface of the, as the ball may slip. So use your mat or carpet. So what you want to do, when the ball is on the lower back, you want to keep the ball away from the spine as well as the hip bone. So keep the ball directly off the spine, of the pelvic bones here. Okay, you're staying on the muscle. So lay down on your back, put it on the lower back, away from the spine. Lay back, bend the knees, use the legs to really roll back and forth on the ball, even some side to side movements, short movements. If you want to shift the ball into a lower, lower zone, you can shift the entire body up like this, get that spot out. Roll the body back and forth, side to side, to really massage the lower back, and you switch to the other side. If you want to get the glutes, cross, do a figure four, put the tennis ball on the buttocks region, keep it away from the tailbone, here. Of the side to side movement. If you land on a really tight spot, you can hold there with some short focused movements. Side to side, a little bit of up and down. That's how you would massage the glute muscle, as well as then you switch to the other side by switching over the leg like this and putting the ball on the other side. The hamstring, tennis ball, can work for some of you. Put it on the hamstring like this. Use your both hands and the remaining leg to roll back and forth, side to side on the hamstring. Shift the body to get different zones of the hamstring. You may land on, a, for example, a tight spot maybe right here. You can put some extra focus, leaning into it, some short movements, keeping the leg loose, letting the weight of body press the hamstring into the ball, okay? What you don't want to do, you don't want to get the ball into the crook of the knee, but this zone right here. Also keep the ball away from the crease where the buttocks meets the hamstring. So this zone right here, you also do not want the ball to be over there. So here and here are off limits. When it comes to the calf muscle, think about the calf in two halves, upper half and a lower half. Look at the upper half here, go to the center of the upper half, Using the hand, you're gonna go on your palms, or on your, your knuckles. Roll the body backward and forward, keeping the foot loose. You do not want to pull the foot back tight like this because then you stiffen the calf muscle and it makes it difficult for the ball to really get into the muscle. Keep the foot loose, roll backward and forward, roll the, turn the leg to the outer side, turn to the inner. With some practice, you'll get it right. Then you move to the middle of the lower half, backward and forward again, really massaging that lower part of the calf out. Okay. If you're having trouble supporting yourself with your knuckles or your palms, you can use your elbow, lay down on your back, bend this leg, both elbows into the floor, push up with this leg, the elbow, roll backward and forward. If you want to get a bit more pressure into the calf muscle, you can cross this leg over, backward and forward, backward and forward. Shift the ball using the foot, cross the leg, backward and forward, really getting those tight spots out. Now additionally, if you have a muscle roller, for example, one of these here, okay, you got a solid core muscle roller. You also have the hollow core. Obviously this one is stronger. Okay, this can support a pretty heavy person. Anyone over 200 pounds who lays down on this can potentially break it. This one is also a bit more aggressive. You can see the knobs here can really get into those muscular knots. So what you can do, this can be done for the hamstring. Like this. Same principle as the ball, just a different method. Backward and forward. Again, you're staying away from the crook of your knee. 
and decrease right here with the buttocks meets the hamstring. Backward and forward, backward and forward. Go down to the calf muscle. Backward and forward. I can cross the leg if I want, get a bit more pressure. Same principles apply. You can roll, turn the leg inward. You can turn the leg outward. Okay, this can be pretty painful. But with time, as you release the muscle, the pain becomes less and less. Okay? Normally, we recommend one to two minutes at a time for each zone. Um, your therapist will direct you accordingly where your particular situation is concerned. Okay.